Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I will be giving you my first impressions on the Pink Dreams palette from SP Cosmetics. SP Cosmetics is a UK indie brand that I've only just discovered and you'll see what I think. So I did pick up two more of the palettes and there's four in total on the site. Um, so this is the Aroma palette. You can see why I picked that one up. Green. Um, and, and this one is the Honeycomb palette. This is the only one out of the three I have with a glitter in, um, which is absolutely fine by me because I love glitter. So yeah, just a note for those of you who don't like glitters. The other two I have don't have any glitters in. But this looks beautiful. The only reason I didn't choose this one to play with first is because in the past week I've I've done quite a lot with glitter. So I thought I'd showcase the pink one first. So if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my first impressions on the Pink Dreams palette from SP Cosmetics, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first shade I'm going in with is this one up here. And this one is just going to be going in my crease and being blended out. Ooh. Yeah, I discovered uh, SP Cosmetics recently, actually. And yeah, being another UK indie brand, cruelty free, I, uh, I thought, hey, let's try this one out. So SP Cosmetics is run by a very, very lovely lady called Samira. And she is lovely. I'm always excited when I find a new UK indie brand. Now, SP Cosmetics, whilst not completely new, I believe she started up in 2019. Um, but due to medical reasons, she had to uh, put it on hold. So she started up again this year. And she's got some nice things on her site. So there are the four eyeshadow palettes. The uh, There's the yellow one, which is the honeycomb palette. The pink, which I'm playing with now, is the pink dreams. The green is the aroma palette. And the orange is the obsession palette. The obsession palette is the only one of the set that I don't have. So also on the site, there are highlighters, lip glosses, and a black liquid eyeliner. I'm actually pretty gutted that I didn't pick up a highlighter, but there's always next time. The highlighters looked beautiful. If I remember when I'm editing, I will pop a picture up here now of the highlighters, but my brain is uh, still pretty mushy, so if I forget, apologies. But the website for SP Cosmetics will be linked in the description box below. So you can go directly to the site and have a look for yourselves. Yeah, this video isn't sponsored in any way at all. It's just I bought these to, uh, to try out. And as you know, I get very excited when I find another UK indie brand. Okay, so now we have that first colour down, I'm going to be going in with the darkest shade in the palette, darkest mattes, and I'm going to be placing this one just on the very outer edge. Please don't judge the amount of pigment coming off because I'm using the tiniest little brush, um, but I've just, well, I just find that this brush is absolutely perfect for using for the deepening shade. It just helps to get a more seamless blend. Oh, so far, these eyeshadows are performing beautifully. not going patchy they're blending out brilliantly they're blending together beautifully Whew. 
I like that. So yeah, these palettes are £12 each. Um, if you live in the UK, then it is free shipping. Um, but she does ship worldwide. So that's good for all of my uh, friends around the world. This is pretty. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade here, which is the last of the mattes. So I believe that there are three mattes. These two here and this one look to be either like satin shimmery kind of colours. And then three down the centre, it looks to be more foiled shimmers. So we will see. Anyways, going in with that matte, getting a bit carried away here. So I'm just going to place that along the lower lash line there. I will blend it out in just a second. Just getting a tiny brush. I'm just going to go in with the darkest shade a little bit. Just to uh, connect the upper and lower lids. Seeing the performance of these, I'm so excited to try the other two palettes. All right, just get a little fluffy brush. I'm just going to I'm just going to blend out the edges there. Then I'm just taking a bit of the NYX glitter primer, and I'm just going to be popping a just a bit on each lid just to. Uh, give them something to stick to and i'm just going to pop a tiny bit of the deepest one just along the edge there just to make it easier to uh, blend together after for the most part of my lid, I'm going to be going in with the shimmer that's in the middle there. This is looking nice. Look at that. Wow. Yep, that's pretty. So for the let's do that one. Yeah. For the inner part, I'm going to go in with the shimmer at the top there. And I'm just going to be placing that where we left open. Well, that's pretty. Look at that. Again, these are just blending together on their own. Nice. And then just going back in with the pink shimmer a little bit, just to make sure we don't lose that. Because that is beautiful. Again. I'm just going to go back in with the uh, darkest matte there again, just to make sure that we've still got that covered. This is looking beautiful. Get this out of the way. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the glitter primer on my inner corners. So just a little bit kind of around here. So for the inner corners, I'm going to go in with the bottom shimmer there, bottom middle. And let's see what, oh, okay, perfect. This is beautiful, look at that. 
I'm just going to take that just onto the lid a little bit there to blend it into what we have already there. Oh, this is so pretty. And down onto the lower lash line there. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, the indie brands really are killing it. I'm definitely regretting not getting the orange one too. These are, these foiled shimmers are gorgeous. Loving the look of this. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I'll come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first impressions are of the SP Cosmetics Pink Dreams palette. So if you would like to see that then don't go anywhere. Okay so I'm back with the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm just going to let you know what else I've popped on my face and then we'll have a chat about the Pink Dreams palette. So the eyeliner is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. Brilliant stuff. In my waterline is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Peach Fuzz. The mascara is the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara. The lashes are from Altitude Cosmetics in the Style Boss. Blushes from Pout and Shout is Pink Me Up. And if I can get this open, is this beautiful pink? The highlighter is also from Pout and Shout. It is one of the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters in the shade Lucky Dice. And it is this beautiful kind of lavender purple. And on my lips is the Melt Matte Lipstick in the shade Stepford. I love these lipsticks. I have a few. Love them. So, the SP Cosmetics Pink Dreams palette. So I've tried six of the shades. Um, I haven't tried these kind of, I don't know if they're shimmers or satiny shimmers. Um, I haven't tried those three as yet. First impressions, I love these three shades down the middle. Are beautiful foiled shimmers. I love them. They perform so well. I used all three of the mattes and was so impressed. They blended up beautifully. They blended into each other beautifully, built up. I can't fault them. So now I am so excited to try the other two and very annoyed at myself for not getting the orange one too, but it's on my list now. So there's not much more I can say apart from I love it and I can't wait to play with the others. So that is about it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do mostly colourful looks and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands, so that is mainly what you will find on my channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.